Wow, how are you guys doing? As y'all know, my new album, Revolution 2.0, which is there. Wife well, got it framed for me. Drops April 8th. And I believe. Oh, fuck. Probably woke everybody up in a half. We'll be quiet for a second. Anyways. Hey, look, look. <laughs> you have to follow me, man, to comment. So, look, where are y'all from that see this? Thank y'all so much for this. And I got this a long time ago because of y'all subscribing to my Shotgun Chain YouTube. That's freaking awesome. Like, it was go, we crushed it. You know what I'm saying? We crushed goes around here. Hey, right, let me show you something. So, we got one of those Polaroids, those old Polaroids. It's one of my favorite. Like, me and my daughter, the other night, last night. It's one of my daughters. Got yeah, three. Damn, my wife gonna kill me because I dropped all that shit. Anyways, I'm off topic, right? I always do this. I ramble and shit. So we got Ohio in the house, Missouri in the house. Hello, said Melissa Ann. Another Ohio. Greetings from American Samoa. Oh, that's fucking awesome. What? Hey, look, if y'all are on TikTok too, do me a huge freaking favor, yo. Because I'm trying to like build my TikTok up so they'll verify it finally. That's what they tell me I need to be more active. I don't really do a lot of stuff anymore. Like, I'll just be behind the scenes writing music and stuff like that, making projects that are going to come out like years and years in advance. Anyways, and I put stuff back just in case I die. For my family, my daughters, you know what I'm saying? Because every time an artist dies, it just, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to die. But it's it's on the table, you know, you got to think about shit like that. I'm off topic again, man. Anyways, I'm on here to tell y'all about my new album, Revolution 2.0. You can go pre-order right now if you want to on iTunes, Amazon Music. All that, all you got to do is type in Shotgun Chain, Revolution 2.0. Oh, the other thing with TikTok, yeah, I want, I want, <laughs> I'm so freaking rambly right now. It's at Shotgun Chain on TikTok, okay? All them other accounts and the people pretending to be me, which TikTok will not do shit about because I'm not verified on their, their platform yet to show them that I'm the real fucking Shotgun Chain. So they're just letting everything slide right now. But I need all y'all to go follow my at Shotgun Chain TikTok. And I'm, uh, I promise you that I'm going to start posting videos. My wife done gave me like in her notes and shit. Like she's already got me all kinds of shit planned out. Like she, she knows TikTok inside and out. Trust me, she's genius. And if I have to be honest, my wife is the one that actually came up with the line to the Black Beatles Redneck Remix that got me started and just put a fire up under me. You know what I'm saying? She was the one that came up with the concept, and I just did it, I, you know, and she was like, it's your life. You've already lived this type of shit. Now it's time to talk about it and do it because there's people out there that haven't done it at that time, and then we're here. It's been a fucking bumpy-ass road. I've met a lot of snakes in the grass. I've also met some very fine, great people. It's, it's crazy how this works. And then I've dealt with the depression and all the other shit. And then I've let it show in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's lines in this new songs. Like, I'm not trying to glorify popping perks or any of that type shit. You know, there was people that were on there like, yeah, man, you're doing drugs and all this. I'm talking about it in a sense like, hey. People want to see you fail. They want to see you get out here and overdose. They want to see that. It's weird how like the majority of the people operate. It's like people will lie and say they're really rooting for you, but the whole time they're so jealous that you keep actually doing what you say you're fucking doing. It's crazy how it works. But I've learned that. I've took it in. I've accepted it. There's also points in time where you got to separate 
the online fantasy, like doing all this, right? Manifesting all these other things. You got to separate that from personal life with your family. There's times for that. Now I'm on here fucking preaching. I don't see. I don't know, man, what to do anymore, man. I just, I stay home with my family. I don't do a lot of shows, man. It's like, because I, I had a huge tour plan right when COVID hit. And it just fucking crushed me. Discouraged me. Broke me down, man. Piece by piece by piece. And at that time, I was becoming a fucking alcoholic. Which, thank, thanks to God, I've quit. And I'm still sober. I have not drunk a drop. I don't. It's crazy how all that works. You know what I'm saying? But it's possible. When you set your mind to something and you just do it, you know what I'm saying? I was drinking two cases a night. Nobody knows. I haven't really said a lot to a lot of people, you know, like a few people know what happened. But like all that shit, man, fuck with me, you know? But now I'm mentally there. This new music is fucking awesome. And I hope everybody gets a chance to explore and hear it. Some really great music on there, man. I put my heart and soul into it. And there's like some feel good songs on there too where I just had fun, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about getting in the mud, you know what I'm saying? Like old times, having a good time, ripping it up. Uh, won't Young Wildin play you? You know what I'm saying? You gotta rep the boy. But anyways, I appreciate y'all, man. Like you don't even know. Like I know a lot of people get on here and it's like fucking cliche, like. Hey, I appreciate it. I fucking mean that motherfucker shit. You don't have to believe me. I mean, I hope you do. But I really do. Everything. I'm very, very fucking appreciative. I, I grew up not having shit. Like, my daughter... Dude, they already have, like, fucking 100 times more shit than I ever had in my life. You know? And then, the other day, when I posted the thing about... People quit asking me for money and quit requesting. It's like, I'd like to be able to do everything, you know? And sometimes I feel like in a situation, like it's not fair. Like if I was to do this, because I've already seen a story over here of a mom struggling that has two kids, etc. You know, it just ain't right. But I'm not in a position like where I'm like fucking got $20 million in the bank. Because if I did, by God, I'd help every motherfucking body I could. But I'm not in that position yet. But... If you just keep showing support for the music and we finally get recognized and they start giving me awards and this and that and it's building up my name, we can take this shit far. I got the talent and the songwriting capability. Like a lot of people underestimate me and try to put me down and it's like they try to silence you, you know what I'm saying? Because they know they're like threatened or some shit. It's not fucking right, but they're threatened. Because they know that you can do all these things and you're like a fucking superhero. You know what I'm saying? In that make-believe fantasy world. And you make a lot of people fucking feel good. They don't like that. They want to fucking push evil and push goddamn drugs in a negative light. They want to fucking push sex on kids. They want to do all this LBGT stuff, which, hey, I support you. Uh, not against you. I hope you live your life the way you do. But you shouldn't cram stuff down children's throats. You know, I, this is the way I fucking feel. You sue me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get nothing. But anyways, on that, I got love for anybody. Every race, every religious belief, every fucking political belief, either side. There's more than two sides to say no to, but. I feel that way, but you shouldn't push that shit down children's throats because first, they're children. And they do take you in every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? They're not ready for that. Let them be fucking kids. Let them have fun. There's a time when they do grow up. You know what I'm saying? When they get a little older and comprehend a lot of things. But I'm just sick of this because I was in there just chilling and my daughter's on the phone scrolling. You know, I pay attention. And I listen very, very carefully. And it, you, you just, it's like right after the other, it's like in between certain shit when they're having fun, having a good time. It's like they push all this crazy shit, like right in front of their face. It's not right, man. 
Hello from Pennsylvania. Says Michelle, hell yeah. Jeremy said, I support your brother 100% and agree with you. Hell yeah, Jeremy. Thank you, man. Anthony Kelly is watching. Why did you mention me? I didn't mention you as the title of the live, but I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you that tune into my stuff. And I hope that maybe one day you just get a wild hair. If you haven't heard my music, you look it up. I'm everywhere. I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, YouTube, uh, Tidal, uh, every platform, you know what I'm saying? I'm on. And I appreciate you for listening. Uh, you can go check out my latest music video for You Can Have It All. It was like a low-budget film at the time because I'm not fucking super rich, you know? I'm honest about everything. One day I will be. Well, my daughters are going to be. But that's how it is. I don't care. You make fun of me all you want. It's like certain people, like, even at the times when I did make the Sun Square Body and I didn't own one, it's like people try to fucking down me because I couldn't afford one. It's like, that's what kind of fucking world we live in. Why can't you just support somebody because they like something and they're happy when they're around that type of stuff? You know? But nah, they want to get on the internet and they want to try to make somebody feel like feel so down, make them feel worse than them and belittle them to the point where they're fucking thinking crazy thoughts. And I'm not saying I'm doing that or I've done that, but I have been there in a dark place with all that shit coming in, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing how to fucking take it, not knowing how to block it out, not knowing how to like think different thoughts when that shit was happening. Like, hey, this ain't real. Wake up, you know? Sorry for my late night banter, but I'm bored and everybody's asleep. Everybody had a great day. This weekend, we got my other daughter. And we all went to my hometown, visited my family. And we took them to the mall to go do the jump thing. And it was just relaxing, you know. Me and the wife sat down in the massage chairs and shit while the kids were jumping. I don't know, man. Just take that shit in, you know what I'm saying? Happy moment, life, real life, outside of this, you know? And I'm not saying like all this is bad because there's a lot of educational and inspiration that, that can come from this. It's just up to you to be dedicated to whatever it is, you know? I don't know who needs to hear that. I feel like I needed to come on here and say a few things. I, I Fuck, I don't know, but I'm here. <laughs> Love those chairs. What chairs? What chairs? Oh, the massage chairs. <laughs> okay. People stink, that's for sure. Don't stop doing your music. Superstars are not made overnight. <laughs> hey, that's the truth. Kathy and hey, look, I noticed that you put my album cover as your profile picture for this week. And look, man, send me your address. I'm going to send you a hard copy. Because... I haven't seen that yet. You're like one of the first ones I've seen because I asked in the comments who would uh, take my new album cover, which I posted a picture of my new album, who would put it temporarily as their profile picture for this whole week because it comes out Friday everywhere on online stores and shit. Yeah, just send me your address because that's fucking amazing, dude. Thank you. That's fucking cool. Dude, thank you so much. Just got another vacation too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Appreciate you for real. I'm, I'm going to show my gratitude and send you a, a signed copy of the album. I'll have my wife take care of it. Matter of fact, look, look. The next 10 people that show me that they have put my album cover as their profile picture, I'm sending y'all a signed copy of the album this week. And hey, with that being said, I am going to hop off here. But, but look, if y'all see this video later on, make sure you go to Tiki Top, as my kids call it, Tiki Top. It's TikTok. Make sure you're following my real account, even though it ain't verified yet. We're going to get it there. You know what I'm saying? It's at Shotgun Shane. My Instagram is at The Real Shotgun Shane, just as his Facebook page is now. 
I think my Snapchat name changed to I am Shotgun Shane. They, they changed it. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I think they verified me on Snapchat. I don't really use that shit no more. Everything, like, to me, got bland. And then it's crammed because you get certain things over and over and over and over. You know what I mean? And then to a point where it just fucks with you mentally. But I'm, I'm over, I've overcame it, you know? But we're here. You know what I'm saying? We're here. And we're working. Working for better things, man. Like, I'm working right now to do some stuff to where I can get some property and finally build a house, like that we've dreamed of and have my daughters have an input on it my wife have an input on it and me have an input on it and we all come together to form something that we all would want to have you know and that's what we're look. that's what at the point right now i'm building for i hope this album does really great because i'll be able to do it faster but we'll see man we'll keep praying i believe that everything's possible i really do but yeah, make sure y'all do go get my new album this Friday, April 8th, Revolution 2.0, baby. See y'all soon, man. Love you.